hey guys back again with another video for the channel i trust that you all are having a wonderful day today if you are new here hi my name is christine and in this channel we do faith based and also inspirational contents and if you are coming back i say welcome back <music> guys today i have a very inspirational video in stories for you it's actually a review of another video guys i've stumbled across this video throughout this week and it blessed me so much that i've been watching this video more than once and i cannot help but to share it with you guys so what i'm going to do is i'll be making sure inserting that video inside of my video and then i'll come back and give my review on it seeing that it was so inspirational and after viewing that video the lord just downloaded so many things inside of my heart that i cannot help but to share it with you guys so enjoy guys one of my greatest father-daughter moments with you was after you were started to write and you wrote me something and sent it to me and I was in LA at the time and I was busy and I was very direct and I I'm embarrassed how direct I was I tell you it wasn't good and I didn't know what you meant you needed to write it over <laughs> I did when she when you later wrote the book I called you I was called you from my desk and I left a message of your voicemail. And I said, I was gonna read the book because I've always been their guinea pigs. Anything they cooked, I ate. Anything they, they wrote, I read. So I said, I'm gonna read this book because you're my child. But when I started reading it, it was so well written and so well done, I couldn't put it down. The pace, the rhythm, the truth, the storytelling, the description was impeccable. And then you taught me something. You called me crying. And you said, I want to keep this message forever. Uh. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> and, and you said something to me that I will never forget. You said, because this girl is extremely deep. She's real deep. She said, what gave your compliment so much validity is the criticism that preceded it. The fact that you had the courage to tell me when I was wrong makes me believe you when you tell me I'm right. So guys, that was the video, and as you all saw, it's T.D. Jades and his daughter, Sarah. So they're sitting down, having a conversation about what happened in the past. And he started out by saying his best father-daughter moment, one of his best father-daughter moment was that uh, she recently came to him when she started writing. So um, he read it. And he was honest enough to tell her that um, he couldn't understand what she was trying to say. Um, it was not good and write it over. So apparently, um, I believe that she probably was disappointed, but she did so. She write it over. And later down now, when the book came out, he's reading the book. And he is so amazed that he cannot even put the book down. It was so well written, the storytelling, everything was remarkable and well done. So he immediately called his daughter. He left her um, a message on her phone and he told her, he told her the truth. He was honest again and she immediately called him back crying. She told him that this message um, she's going to keep forever because uh, she cherished it and the part that i love the most is when she said that if it hadn't been way back when he had told her the truth 
she wouldn't have believed him now because back then he told her the truth he told he told her that it was not good he told her to write it over so the fact that he had the courage enough to tell her that is not good makes her believe now that when he's telling her that it is well done it is good it makes her believe it now so guys here in this story we have two point of view we have td jake's perspective as being the father and then we have sarah jake's robert's perspective as, as being the daughter so now guys let's head over to td jake's perspective td jake's point of view there you have your beautiful daughter, um, the one that you love so dearly, come to you with so much excitement on her face, in her heart. I can imagine probably she was off the roof. She was so excited to present to her father um, her writing, her dreams, her plans, uh, her everything. And now the father have to say the truth. The father has to get the courage and he has to see the truth. He has to be honest. And I'm asking myself, how many of us does tell the truth? When that one person that looked up to us, when that one person come to us with um, with, a, with an idea or a business dreams or a plan, how many of us will tell that person the truth? or how many of us will sugarcoat it a lot of us does sugarcoat things when we have to be honest when we have to always remain honest and always remain truthful i know that the truth does hurt that is the slang truth hurts but it is more honest and more um, effective to be truthful then to sugarcoat it. So coming back to T.D. Jake's perspective, he went ahead and he told his daughter the truth. And probably, not even probably, most likely she was disappointed. Disappointed. So now let's go over to Sarah's perspective. So now Sarah is coming, well excited. Um, she's coming to her father, the one that she looked up to, the one that she have um, as a role model, the one that, um, remember in the video, he said that um, they, they love to put him in a position as being the guinea pig. So everything that they would cook, um, he would be the first to try out. Everything that they would write, he would be the first to, to read. So uh there she goes coming to her father coming to her hero coming to the one that that already wrote several several books to hear that it is not good to hear that um i cannot understand what you're trying to say and to hear the biggest most biggest part write it over write it over that is so dumb encouraging I'm trying to put myself in her shoes. You know, when you believe that you wrote something so well and you're just waiting for uh, a good review, you're waiting to hear, oh, you did a great job, I love it. And then now you're hearing the contrary. You're hearing, write it over. That there is enough to drive somebody um, in anxiety, drive somebody, um, you know, make them stress because the write it over that time is precious time is precious guys and now for her to go back and to write over all of those things that's she's lo she's losing time so i believe that she probably was very 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 disappointed but guess what that there now this period is when we have to ask ourselves what do we want in life I can imagine a lot of us, we will get the dumb courage and we wouldn't even want to write it over. We will get angry, we will get offensive. Um, you know, we might even stop talking to our father, okay? Some of us will get so dumb courage that we will go lock up in our rooms, 
and we will write it over we will just forget about our dreams forget about our plans and just um, on to the next one but then now we have some of us that is just like Sarah who took that criticism and see the good in it and went ahead and wrote it over she looked past that criticism she looked past the the fact that she, she probably was down courage she looked past all of that and she did exactly as her father told her to do she went and she wrote it over and also guys in situation like this i always would say um and this is one thing that i always would tell my family members and my friends i love when have when i'm being put in difficult situation like this why because it difficult situation does fuel you it does fuel you it either does um break you it either does break you or it does make you and times like these we have to leave those type of situation fuel us we have to grab those situation and run with it we have to keep reminding ourselves keep um, replaying those thoughts probably Sarah she replayed the thoughts when um, when she heard her father say write it over probably when she was writing over that story she heard that thought in her head write it over it's not good write it over it's not good and that's the way how we're supposed to do things guys we are not supposed to let it break us but we're supposed to let that same situation give us a fuel and give us a fuel for us to run the race run it and run it well and that's what sarah jakes did um she wrote it over and now when it's time um when the book is finally out her father her father wow being honest once again i love honest people i always just say i rather you tell me the truth and it hurts than you sugarcoat it you sugarcoat it and you tell me a lie and it comforts me and then after when i do find out it's the truth it will hurt even more be honest guys honesty let's put honesty at the top of our of, of our list for the new year's resolution be honest so coming back now uh when td jakes read it he was uh in awe he was in awe he probably uh was boasting of his daughter he probably was so um you know so proud as a proud father i like to add this as well uh, be careful who you are going to you see sarah jakes she went to her father she went to the one that she looked up to so my thoughts to you guys is to be very very careful who you are going to who are you going to with your dreams who are you going to with your plans who are you going to with your most intimate the heart desires your goals your dreams who are you going to that is my question to you to continue so um so he was honest enough once again and he told her his daughter that she did well that he loved the book that he was in awe that he couldn't even put it down and now his daughter called him back crying with tears and she said if it had not been for way back when you told me the truth when you was honest enough that i would i wouldn't believed you you was honest with me in the beginning and you're still honest with me now and that made me believe you even more so guys that is the story and i am so in love with it i hope that this story inspired you as much as it did for me i hope that it encouraged you as much as it did for me this is a type of story guys that goes um along with you it stays with you so that's what i love about the, those type of videos and i believe that i will be doing more of those review videos because i love it 
so guys um if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel go ahead and do so just by clicking on the subscribe button down below also click on the notification bell that way you can get notified whenever we post a brand new videos and thank you so much guys for staying and for watching the video until the very end and don't forget guys to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to live laugh love but above all live see you in the next video guys